Hello and welcome to our exploration into the world of cryptocurrency. Ever wonder what lies behind the buzz of this intriguing concept? It's a term that's been splashed across headlines, debated among financial gurus, and sparked curiosity in many. But what exactly does it mean? Let's break it down. Cryptocurrency is a combination of two words, crypto and currency. Crypto, a term derived from the Greek word cryptos, means hidden or secret. On the other hand, currency is a concept we're all familiar with. It's a medium of exchange, like the dollars or euros in your wallet. When combined, these two words form cryptocurrency, hinting at a hidden or secret form of money. But where does this money exist? Well, it exists in the digital realm, far from physical banks and traditional paper bills. Cryptocurrency is a type of digital or virtual money. It doesn't have a physical form like coins or notes. Instead, it exists solely in electronic form, stored in digital wallets and transferred via the internet. This virtual nature of cryptocurrency is what allows it to break free from the constraints of traditional banking systems. But there's more to cryptocurrency than just being a digital form of money. One of its key features is the use of cryptography. Cryptography is a method of protecting information by transforming it into an unreadable format. It's used extensively in computer systems and data security. And in the case of cryptocurrency, it's used to secure transactions and control the creation of new units. Perhaps the most distinguishing feature of cryptocurrency is its independence from central banks. Unlike traditional currencies which are issued and controlled by central banks, cryptocurrencies operate on decentralized platforms. They are not subject to the whims of government policies or the stability of a country's economy. This decentralization gives cryptocurrencies their unique appeal and has been a driving force behind their growing popularity. So, in essence, Cryptocurrency is a secret form of money existing in the digital world. It's a new form of exchange, encrypted for security, and operating independently of central banks. It's a revolution in the financial world, a step towards a future where control over money is decentralized and where transactions can be made instantly, securely, and without intermediaries. But how did this digital money come into existence? Let's rewind to 2009. The world was still reeling from the 2008 financial crisis, confidence in traditional banking systems was at a low, and out of this climate of uncertainty, a revolutionary idea sprouted. The creation of Bitcoin, the first ever cryptocurrency, by an enigmatic individual or group known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Now who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Well that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Despite numerous attempts to uncover their identity, Satoshi remains as elusive as the shadow of a phantom. Yet their invention, Bitcoin, has left an indelible mark on the world of finance. The Bitcoin white paper, titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, was published by Satoshi Nakamoto in October 2008. This document laid out the framework for a new kind of financial system, one that was decentralized, transparent, and didn't require intermediaries like banks or governments. Imagine a world where you could send money to anyone, anywhere, any time, without having to go through a bank, without hefty transaction fees, and without waiting days for the transaction to clear. That was the world Satoshi envisioned, and that's exactly what Bitcoin brought to the table. This digital currency, or cryptocurrency, as it came to be known, operates on a technology called blockchain. A blockchain is like a public ledger, transparent and immutable, where all transactions are recorded. What makes it special is that this ledger isn't stored in one central location. Instead, it's distributed across a network of computers or nodes around the world. This decentralization means that no single entity has control over the currency, making it resistant to censorship and interference. Bitcoin was designed to mimic the scarcity of precious metals like gold. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins in existence and this limited supply has contributed to its value over the years. And thus, Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, was born a currency that promised to disrupt traditional financial systems, empower individuals, and usher in a new era of financial freedom. But as with all great innovations, Bitcoin's journey has been far from smooth. The story of cryptocurrency is as much about its potential as it is about its challenges, and that's what we'll explore in the next few scenes. But how does this digital money operate? Let's delve into the fascinating world of cryptocurrency to answer this question. At the heart of cryptocurrency's operation is an ingenious technology known as blockchain. Imagine a ledger, but not the kind that's tucked away in a bank vault. 
This ledger is decentralized, spread across numerous computers globally, and it records every single transaction made with a particular cryptocurrency. So how does a transaction get added to this ledger? Enter the intriguing process known as mining. Picture a miner, not with a pickaxe, but equipped with powerful computers. These digital miners have a crucial task, to validate and record new transactions onto the blockchain. But it's not as simple as jotting down numbers. These miners have to solve complex mathematical problems. Now you might wonder why the need for such complexity? Here's the twist. The mathematical problems are cryptographic, meaning they're designed to secure the data. The first miner to crack the problem gets to add the new block of transactions to the chain. And as a reward, they receive a small amount of the cryptocurrency. This is how new crypto coins are brought into circulation. But there's another layer to this. Each block added to the chain contains a unique code, a hash which is dependent on the previous block's hash. This creates an interdependent chain, making it nearly impossible to alter a transaction once it's recorded. This level of security is one of the key strengths of blockchain technology. It's also worth noting that the entire process is open and transparent. Anyone can view the transactions on the blockchain, although the identities of the people involved remain anonymous. This creates a system that's both private and accountable. In this way, cryptocurrency operates on a decentralized network of computers. It's a system that blends the power of cryptography, the transparency of an open ledger, and the motivation of a reward system. It's complex, yes, but it's also remarkably secure and efficient. And that's the beauty of cryptocurrency. What does this digital money bring to the table? And what should you watch out for? Let's dive into the benefits and risks associated with cryptocurrency. First, let's talk about the good stuff. One of the most enticing aspects of cryptocurrency is the potential for high returns. Some early adopters of Bitcoin, for instance, found their modest investments skyrocketing in value over a relatively short period. But remember, past performance does not guarantee future results. Next up, privacy. Cryptocurrency transactions can be more private than traditional bank transactions. Each transaction is recorded in a public ledger known as the blockchain, but the identities of the people involved remain hidden behind cryptographic keys. This can provide a level of anonymity that traditional banking systems may not offer. Thirdly, cryptocurrencies can offer freedom from government interference. Since they are not regulated by a central authority, cryptocurrencies can be a way to avoid government control and interference. This can be particularly appealing in countries where the local currency is unstable, or where the government is corrupt. But with these benefits come risks, and they're not to be taken lightly. The first and perhaps most well-known risk is volatility. Cryptocurrencies are known for their dramatic price swings, which can lead to substantial losses. Think of it as a roller coaster ride. It can be thrilling, but it's not for the faint-hearted. Another risk is the lack of regulation. While this can be seen as a benefit, it also means there's no safety net. If a cryptocurrency company goes under, or if you're the victim of a scam, there's often little you can do to get your money back. Lastly, the potential for misuse. The anonymity of cryptocurrency makes it a popular choice for illegal activities, such as money laundering or purchasing illegal goods. While the vast majority of users are law-abiding, the potential for misuse is a risk that cannot be ignored. Cryptocurrency, like any financial venture, carries both potential rewards and risks. It's essential to do your homework and understand what you're getting into before you dive in. So what does the future hold for this digital money? A question that that sparks curiosity and debate among crypto enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Let's delve into the possibilities, shall we? As we move forward, the acceptance of cryptocurrency is expected to grow, not just among individual users, but also businesses and governments. We're already seeing major like Tesla and Microsoft accepting crypto payments, a trend that's likely to continue. It's not just the private sector either. Countries like El Salvador have taken the bold step of making Bitcoin legal tender. These developments suggest a future where cryptocurrency becomes a standard form of payment. However, this growing acceptance brings its own set of challenges. One of the most significant is regulatory issues. Cryptocurrency becomes more mainstream. Governments around the world will likely want to regulate it, much like they do with traditional currencies. This could lead to new laws and restrictions, which could impact how people use and trade cryptocurrencies. Another challenge is the need for technological advancements. As more people use cryptocurrencies, the systems that support them will need to handle an increasing number of transactions. 
Currently, the Bitcoin network can handle around 7 transactions per second, while Visa can handle over 24,000. If cryptocurrencies are to become a standard form of payment, they'll need to close this gap. Despite these challenges, the future of cryptocurrency looks promising. With the benefits they offer, such as decentralization, security, and potential for high returns, it's clear why many believe their potential. And let's not forget about the innovative blockchain technology that underpins cryptocurrencies, which has applications far beyond digital money. Yet, yet, like any investment or technology, it's not without its risks. As we've seen, the value of cryptocurrencies can be volatile, and there's always the possibility of cyber theft. So, as with any, it's important to do your and understand what you're getting into. Only time will tell what the future holds for cryptocurrency, but one is for sure. It's here to stay. The world of digital money is evolving, and we're all part of this exciting journey. So buckle up and let's see where this ride takes us. If you found this journey into the world of cryptocurrency interesting and want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay tuned, let's continue exploring together.